If you've ever wanted to know how to make your own homemade all-natural summer bug spray, you're in luck because I'm sharing my recipe right now. Friends, this was just yesterday that I was bitten by a horsefly and it is incredibly painful and it always gives me hives while it's out in my garden. And so I'm gonna whip up a batch today of my homemade all natural bug spray that is safe for your pets, your children, your home and your family. And I wanted to share that today so that you don't go through the same thing. To make this blend, you'll of course need a spray bottle I'm using glass. You'll also need a half a cup of white vinegar, a half cup distilled water, a fourth cup of isopropyl alcohol, a fourth cup of witch hazel, one tablespoon of organic vanilla, I'm using Mexican vanilla, 30 drops frankincense oil, 30 drops geranium essential oil, 30 drops of bergamot, and 10 drops of clove essential oil. And then essentially to make this blend, you will just put everything together, mix it up, and add it to your spray bottle. I'm just going to use a measuring cup, as you can see, to blend everything together. You could, of course, just add them to your bottle using a funnel, but it's what I had the closest to my hand to make this, and the less things that I have to wash, the happier I am. With that said, a lot of blends that you'll see online have citronella oil, and while this is a great way to reduce the bugs you're around at home, do keep in mind, citronella is only intended to have plants, so unless you actually have it planted around you, by the time that you distill it, you've actually eliminated about 90% of its benefits to you, including a lot of essential oils, bug sprays, candles, things of this sorting. So one way around this is vanilla, because vanilla is a great way to deter bugs. It is also an excellent way to deter ticks, especially if you live in a wooded area or you hike or things of that sorting. So it's a great little thing to have on hand for that. And as you can see, again, we're just putting everything together, giving it a good stir, putting it in the bottle. Do keep in mind, because you are using essential oils each time that you go to use it, you'll just give it a little shake in the bottle just to reincorporate everything. I like to keep my blend in the refrigerator during the warmer months, just because it's very cool on the skin. I also actually use this blend to repel fleas and ticks from my pets, and it works beautifully on the nape of the neck for them, and I've never had any problems, and I live in the deep south in a pretty rural area, and it works well for us. Of course, your mileage will vary, but this is something that I have always loved to use because it's just safer, and it's something that I know works. Also keep in mind that you can definitely use this on cuts and scrapes, it may sting just a little bit because of the alcohol, but like anything else, it's quickly going to evaporate. I also use this after sunburn for a little medicated care. It's great for that, as well as peeling skin too, so that is another use for it. I love to keep a bottle or two of this on hand, and then when we're getting ready to go to the beach or the lake or the park or what have you, or playdates, I always make sure to pick up one of the bottles and to keep it in my purse. As you can see, make sure that you are using 30 drops of each essential oil with the exception of clove oil. And clove oil is used in this blend because it is awesome at repelling flies and ants. It's also good again for fleas or other such things. And it's really great in the summer to repel ants, especially if you have an issue with that. Geranium is good for repelling most types of bugs. And as a side note, this blend can also be sprayed safely on your garden vegetables to repel most bugs that would chomp on your precious vegetation and herbs. So there's another use for it as well. Making sure again, stir it, add it to your bottle, and you are definitely good to go. This will save you over Cutter and some general brands about 95% savings. It's something I've used for years and absolutely love it. Another fun use is that you can also use this to clarify your hands after you've gardened. It's great for getting dirt out from under cuticle beds and your nails, so I've used it for that purpose as well. It's also, again, a great disinfectant. If you have a skinned knee or you need to quickly put it on a bug bite when you're out and about, it is a great use for that as well. I've even used it to clean my glasses and the lenses to cameras, and so 
definitely a multifunctional product there for me and something that I always make sure to keep on hand in the summer because you just never know when there's going to be a pesky little insect about that you need to kindly and humanely eradicate. So especially if you are a mom, you know that you just have to have something around because there's always something flying, especially if you're eating outdoors at a picnic. And during the summers, we love to entertain outdoors. And so this is definitely something I need to keep on hand. I also like to keep an extra bottle on hand because we're planning to have several play dates this season and it's a must for us. As you can see, I'm just going to spray some on my arm and it dissipates and dries to the skin in about 10 seconds so you are good to go. I also love, love, love to use it to clean my countertops. It's a great cleaner and as a side note, again, it will repel ants. So if you have any little pesky invaders in your home, this is a great product. I also love to use it outdoors, again, in my garden and I love to go once a week around all the doors in my home, my office, my front door, my garage doors, my shed door, and make sure that I give it a little spray, just let it dry on its own, and you're good to go. So friends, this is an awesome blend. Put the recipe, I will put rather the recipe in the description bar below. With that said, please subscribe, turn on notifications, and leave me a comment and let me know if you're going to try this. As always, please be kind to yourself and to others. Have a wonderful rest of your day.